What is free energy? Welcome to this channel. I'm going to explain you the free energy in simple way. The main objective of this channel is to transform complex to topic into simple topic, so that anyone can understand it. Free energy is also called Gibbs free energy. The free energy change is used to measure if reaction is spontaneous or non-spontaneous. Listen careful. The free energy change is used to measure the spontaneity of a reaction. If you are new on this channel, it is better for you to watch the video about entropy and spontaneous reaction before watching this video. Look to the link of entropy video in description. The total entropy change is the sum of entropy change of the surrounding and entropy change of the system. If total entropy change is positive, the reaction is spontaneous. But if total entropy change is negative, the reaction is non-spontaneous. This is a way you can know if reaction is spontaneous or non-spontaneous. The problem with this equation used to calculate the total entropy change accompany the chemical reaction is this. You have to know the change in system and change in surrounding. But chemists are usually interested in the system of reactants and products rather than having to consider the energy changes with the surroundings. The free energy help us to know if reaction is spontaneous or non-spontaneous by examining the change of system only. Listen carefully. The free energy help us to know if reaction is spontaneous or non-spontaneous by considering the change of system only. Derivation of the free energy from equation of total entropy change. The total entropy change, also called entropy change of universal, is the sum of entropy change of the system and entropy change of surrounding. The entropy change of surrounding is equal to negative enthalpy change of reaction divided by temperature of surrounding in Kelvin. By substituting for entropy change of surrounding in equation of entropy change of universal, you obtain the equation below. You can make simple rearrangement by multiplying both sides by negative temperature. This negative multiply this negative give positive. Then you can simplify. Temperature divide by temperature equal to 1. This term is equal to positive multiplied by enthalpy of reaction. While this term is equal to free energy, the total entropy change multiplied by negative temperature is equal to free energy. Listen carefully. The total entropy change multiplied by negative temperature is equal to free energy. As a result of above rearrangement, the free energy is equal to enthalpy of reaction minus temperature in Kelvin multiplied by entropy change of system, where delta G is free energy change of reaction. Delta A is enthalpy change of reaction. Delta S is entropy of reaction which is our system. T is a temperature at which reaction takes place. From this data, you can determine if reaction is spontaneous or non-spontaneous. How to use the free energy to determine if reaction is spontaneous or non-spontaneous. If free energy change is negative, the reaction is spontaneous. But if free energy change is positive, the reaction is non-spontaneous. If free energy change is equal to zero, the reaction is at equilibrium. Listen carefully. If free energy change is negative, the reaction is spontaneous. But if free energy change is positive, the reaction is non-spontaneous. If free energy change is equal to zero, the reaction is at equilibrium. Example. Calculate the free energy change for the decomposition of zinc carbonate at 298 Kelvin. This enthalpy change of reaction, and these are entropies change for each compound in the reaction. The free energy, noted by delta G, is equal to enthalpy change of chemical reaction negative temperature multiplied by entropy change of system. The data needed to calculate free energy are given. Enthalpy change of chemical reaction equals 71 kilojoule per mole. Temperature is equal to 298 Kelvin. But we don't have entropy change of system. We have to use this data to calculate entropy change of system. Working out entropy changes for a reaction which is our system is very easy. 
You add up the entropies for everything you end up with in products and take away the entropies of everything you started with in reactants. This is a simple equation for calculating entropy change of system. Entropy change of the system for decomposition of zinc carbonate can be calculated as below. The result of this calculation shows us that the entropy change of system for the decomposition of zinc carbonate is equal to 174.8 joule per kelvin mole. The unit of free energy is kilojoule per kelvin mole. Then we have to convert entropy of system into kilojoule per kelvin mole. This is equal to 0 0.1748 kilojoule per kelvin mole. Now we have all needed data to calculate free energy change for decomposition of zinc carbonate by replacing everything in equation of calculate free energy change. The result shows us that the free energy change for decomposition of zinc carbonate is equal to plus 18.9 kilojoule per kelvin mole. As the value of free energy change is positive, this reaction is not spontaneous at 298 kelvin. Listen carefully. As the value of free energy change is positive, this reaction is not spontaneous at 298 kelvin. Effect of temperature on reaction spontaneity. This an equation to calculate free energy. For a reaction to be spontaneous, free energy change must be negative. In most cases, the contribution of enthalpy to the free energy change is much larger than the contribution of entropy. For this reason, most exothermic reactions are spontaneous. The negative of enthalpy change helps make free energy change to be negative. However, the temperature of a reaction influences the magnitude of this term. So for many reactions, the overall spontaneity depends on the temperature. The effect of temperature on reaction spontaneity for an exothermic reaction. For an exothermic reaction, enthalpy change of reaction has a negative value. If the value of entropy change of system is positive, this term is negative and the reaction will be spontaneous because these both terms are negative. So free energy change is negative. If the value of entropy change of system is negative, this term is positive. Negative T multiplying negative entropy change of system gives positive value. The reaction is likely to be spontaneous if the temperature is low, because at low temperature enthalpy change of reaction is likely to have a greater negative value than the positive value of this term. So free energy change will be negative at low temperature. On other hand, if the value of entropy change of system is negative, this term is positive. At high temperature, this term will be positive enough to overcome the negative value of enthalpy change of reaction. This makes free energy change positive. So, the reaction is non-spontaneous at high temperature. You can apply the similar reasoning for endothermic reaction. This table below shows the summary of reaction spontaneity in different conditions. Example 2. Calculate the free energy change for the decomposition of zinc carbonate at 1200 Kelvin. This enthalpy change of reaction, and these are entropies change for each compound in the reaction. The free energy, noted by delta G, is equal to enthalpy change of chemical reaction, minus temperature multiplied by entropy change of system. The data needed to calculate free energy are given. Enthalpy change of chemical reaction equals 71 kilojoule per mole. Temperature is equal to 1200 Kelvin. But we don't have entropy change of system. We have to use this data to calculate entropy change of system. Working out entropy changes for a reaction, which is our system, is very easy. You add up the entropies for everything you end up with in products. And take away the entropies of everything you started with in reactants. This is a simple equation for calculating entropy change of system. Entropy change of the system for decomposition of zinc carbonate can be calculated as below. The result of this calculation shows us that the entropy change of system for the decomposition of zinc carbonate is equal to 174.8 joule per kelvin mole. The unit of free energy is kilojoule per kelvin mole. 
Then we have to convert entropy of system into kilojoule per Kelvin mole. This is equal to 0, 0,1748 kilojoule per Kelvin mole. Now we have all needed data to calculate free energy change for decomposition of zinc carbonate. By replacing everything in equation of calculate free energy change. The result shows us that the free energy change for decomposition of zinc carbonate is equal to minus 139 kilojoule per Kelvin mole. As the value of free energy change is negative, this reaction is spontaneous at 1200 Kelvin. Listen carefully. As the value of free energy change is negative, this reaction is spontaneous at 1200 Kelvin. On first example, the temperature was 298 Kelvin, but for this second example, the temperature is 1200 Kelvin. As conclusion, the decomposition of zinc carbonate reaction is non-spontaneous at low temperature, but the decomposition of zinc carbonate reaction is spontaneous at high temperature. How to know the temperature at which a reaction becomes spontaneous? The equation used to calculate free energy change is this one. Remember that. If Gibbs free energy change is negative, the reaction is spontaneous. But if Gibbs free energy change is positive, the reaction is non-spontaneous. If Gibbs free energy change is equal to zero, the reaction is at equilibrium. Some reactions which are non-spontaneous at low temperature become spontaneous at high temperature. But Others' reactions are non-spontaneous at high temperature become spontaneous at low temperature. It is useful to know the temperature at which a reaction becomes spontaneous. The temperature at which a positive free energy becomes negative free energy is the temperature non-spontaneous reaction becomes spontaneous reaction. At this temperature, free energy is equal to zero. By making rearrangement for this equation, we find the temperature at which a positive free energy become negative free energy. This is a temperature at which a reaction becomes spontaneous. Example, decomposition of zinc carbonate is non-spontaneous at low temperature and spontaneous at high temperature. What is the temperature at which this reaction becomes spontaneous? Entropy change of system is equal 0, 0,1748 kilojoule per Kelvin mole and enthalpy change of reaction is equal 71 kilojoule per mole. The reaction decomposes according to this equation. Answer. By replacing the data into the formula, the temperature at which this reaction will become spontaneous is 406.2 Kelvin. This is a temperature above which decomposition of zinc carbonate reaction will become spontaneous. Another way to calculate free energy change of reaction. The free energy change of reaction can be calculated by using standard free energy change of formation. Definition of standard free energy change of formation is the free energy change that occurs when one mole of compound is made from its elements, with all components in their standard states. Listen carefully. Standard free energy change of formation is the free energy change that occurs when one mole of compound is made from its elements with all components in their standard states. Warning. The standard free energy change off formation of an element is zero. Example. The standard free energy change of formation for calcium is equal to zero. For hydrogen is equal to zero. For oxygen is equal to zero. Consider a reaction of formation of calcium carbonate. Calcium carbonate can be formed from its elements according to this equation. Calcium carbonate can be also formed from calcium oxide and carbon dioxide, according to this equation. You can make calcium carbonate by starting from its elements and make first calcium oxide and carbon dioxide, then calcium oxide and carbon dioxide combined together to form calcium carbonate. This process can be drawn in the cycle as below. Elements, calcium, carbon, and oxygen. Reactants calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. Products, calcium carbonate. Let's call this root delta G1, and this root delta G2, and then this root delta G3. By using the same ideas as in Hess's law, free energy change by passing this root 
is equal to free energy change by passing this route. Where? Delta G3 is standard free energy change of formation for calcium carbonate. Delta G2 is standard free energy change of reaction. Delta G1 is standard free energy change of formation for calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. The free energy change of reaction can be calculated by using this cycle. By using the same ideas as in Hess's law, delta G3 is equal to delta G1 plus delta G2. By making simple rearrangement, delta G2 is equal to delta G3 minus delta G1. Remember that delta G2 is standard free energy change of reaction. Delta G3 is standard free energy change of formation for calcium carbonate. Delta G1 is standard free energy change of formation for calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. This equation can be rewrite as below. The free energy change of reaction is equal to the sum of standard free energy change of formation for everything you end up with, and take away the standard free energy change of formation for everything you started with. We are going to use this equation to calculate free energy change of reaction between calcium oxide and carbon dioxide to produce calcium carbonate. Calcium carbonate is formed from calcium oxide and carbon dioxide according to this equation. The standard free energy change of formation for calcium carbonate is equal to minus 1128 a kilojoule per mole. The standard free energy change of formation for calcium oxide is equal to minus 604.0 kilojoule per mole. The standard free energy change of formation for carbon dioxide is equal to minus 394.4 kilojoule per mole. The free energy change of reaction is equal to the sum of standard free energy change of formation for everything you end up with and take away the standard free energy change of formation for everything you started with. Then replace the value of standard free energy change of formations in equation. The free energy change for this reaction between calcium oxide and carbon dioxide to form calcium carbonate is equal to minus 130.4 kilojoule per mole. As the value of free energy change is negative, the reaction is spontaneous at standard conditions. Listen carefully. As the value of free energy change is negative, the reaction is spontaneous at standard conditions. Another example. Draw a free energy cycle to calculate the standard free energy change of decomposition of sodium hydrogen carbonate. The relevant free energy values are shown below. Answer. This is the free energy cycle for the decomposition of sodium hydrogen carbonate. The dashed line shows the two-step route. The dashed line shows the two steps route. By using this formula, the free energy change for this reaction is calculated as below. The value of free energy change for this reaction is positive. So, under standard conditions, the reaction is not spontaneous. However, free energy change of reaction changes with temperature. At a higher temperature, this reaction is spontaneous. Warning. When you are using this formula for calculating the free energy change of the reaction, remember to multiply each standard free energy change of formation by its value of coefficient, as we have did for sodium hydrogen carbonate. If you have any question about chemistry, write it in comments. I'm happy to help you for free within 24 hours of working days. Make subscription for more video. Thank you for watching.